Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to a series that I have longed to bring you for a very long time. Welcome to Pokemon Omega Ruby. We're doing a Nuzlocke. Did you know that one of the very first series that I did on my channel was a Nuzlocke? And then I did more Pokemon stuff, and then Nintendo did Nintendo things, and I stopped doing any sort of Nintendo content whatsoever for a very long time. And then in December, Nintendo undid their Nintendo things, and now I can create Nintendo content again, and I am so excited and so happy, so we're kicking it off with an Omega Ruby Nuzlocke. Oh, man. Okay, so if you are unfamiliar with uh, what a Nuzlocke is, it's a special challenge that you take on uh, in any Pokemon game, essentially. Um, I will briefly go through the rules and also, I mean, we're going to have a little bit of cutscene-y stuff at the beginning anyway, so you can read the text and all that kind of stuff. But I'll go through the Nuzlocke rules. I'll also put them all in the description, so if you forget them, you can read the description and check on them again. So, we're, uh, we're in Hoenn Gen 3, although it's a Gen 3 remake. Omega Ruby. Uh, basically, Nuzlocke rules are as follows. Any Pokemon that faints in your party is considered dead and must be released or put in the, uh, the PC boxes permanently. So if one of your dudes faints, you never get to use him again. He's, he's gone forever. Uh, the second rule is, I may only catch the first Pokemon encountered in any area. And if I fail to catch it, I don't get another chance. Third rule, I must nickname all of my Pokemon. And then I've got some like exceptional, uh, some exceptions to the rules and optional rules that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, the challenge doesn't officially begin until I have received Pokeballs for the first time. Uh, because there's some mandatory encounters before you have a chance to catch anything in this game, and I, uh, uh, yeah, that, that'd just be silly. We want to be able to catch Pokemon. Uh, so it doesn't begin until I receive Pokeballs for the first time. Uh, I'm doing a dupes clause, so if I've already caught a species of Pokemon that appears uh, as my first encounter, I can choose to defeat it or run away and then catch something else instead. So I don't have to worry about catching, like, five Zigzagoons or something. Uh, I am definitely a boy, and my name is Wells Knight. If I, you know what? I there's, there's a stylus. Let's just stylus that. Bam! Beautiful. Um, so yeah, no dupes. Shinies can always be caught regardless of other rules. You can always use them regardless of the rules. If they faint, I'm still considering them dead. Uh, I'm going to say the normal rules don't apply to Pokemon to stay, uh, obtained via special in-game events, trading with NPCs, basically anything that isn't an encounter. I don't know that I'm actually going to do any of that, but just to keep it simple and not have to worry about, like, did I get a Pokemon on this route or in this area? Because, yeah, I'm just going to keep it simple and say that those don't count. Uh, legendaries are not considered account encounters, and they may be caught, but I'm not going to use any. Uh, no using legendaries because they're really, really powerful, and it would kind of take the the challenge out of the challenge. And then finally, the normal rules don't apply to uh, HM Slaved, which are basically Pokemon that are just there to use field moves like Cut and Rock Smash and things like that. Um, but those HM Slaves cannot participate in battle. So that is basically the, uh, the rule set that I'm going with. If you have other ideas for optional rules to add, feel free to let me know. Also, you may notice... In the lower right-hand corner of the screen, who's that Pokemon? I'm going to do one of these uh, every episode. So if you know who it is, leave a comment and tell me who it is. We'll see if you get it right. And I'm going to start with a fairly easy one. Let's talk with Mom here. I'm also going to skip a lot of this dialogue. I'm not going to read it all out and go. I'm just going to I'm going to assume that you can read. And if you really want to see the dialogue, you can always pause the video. But um, we're going to skip through most of it and uh, just kind of get into the, the story as quickly as possible. Basically, I have moved to Little Root Town. My dad is a gym leader, and I am uh, starting a new life as a Pokemon trainer. That, that That's basically the story of the game. That, pretty much the story of every Pokemon game, except for the whole dad is a gym leader thing. But, you know, it's all good. New clock. All right, let's head up to our room. We'll just... It, please, there we go. Set the clock. And I will also say, uh, this is the first time I've attempted to record 3DS stuff. So if it's a little funky, just kind of bear with me while I work out the kinks. It might, it, I, I am forced to use an emulator, unfortunately, even though I own 
Omega Ruby and have for years. Um, but recording a 3DS is really a nightmare, so I'm using an emulator for it, and I don't know how well this... I, it should work fine. It seems to be running just okay, but uh, just bear in mind there might be a little bit of, like, weird graphical glitches or frame rate things or who knows. Either way. Oh, look, I missed Dad's show. What a shame. All right, let's go find Professor... Actually, no, before we can go talk with Professor Bert... Professor Birch, I think we have to meet May. His daughter and our rival, I believe. I am indeed Wells Knight, you are correct. Yes, we have a daughter. Okay, uh, let's go talk with our new friend. Let's pop up here. Hello, May. Good to meet you. Let's be, let, let's be friends. Pokemon fully restored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're already... Like, can we skip through this part and get to the part where I get my Pokemon, please? There is a lot of, like, cutscene-y, dialogue-y, tutorial-y stuff in the first little bit of the game. But it will get better very soon. It's a good question, May. What are you talking about? It doesn't matter. All right, let's go save Professor Birch. So we can get our first Pokemon, and our challenge can officially begin. I, I will go rescue Professor Birch. Who is being chased around by a wild Poochiena. Very accomplished Professor. Good job, Professor. You're doing so well. I can see your incredible level of professionalism. All right, so we're gonna pick our starter. And obviously, uh, I'm going with Trico. Well, maybe not obviously. So, Blaziken is fantastic, which is what you get from Torchic eventually. Uh, but I feel like Blaziken's like the 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 obvious one that everyone kind of goes for. And I love Sceptile and Trico. I love Trico, and honestly, I just like the whole like evolutionary line for Trico. So I'm just gonna go Trico, and that's what we're gonna roll with for this playthrough. That does mean that May, our rival, is going to get Torchic, and therefore Blaziken, but that's okay. Let's go for a little pound. There we go. Poochiana defeated. Do we level up? Nope. That's fine. Either way, we've saved the Professor. Now we get to keep the Pokemon. All right. Do, 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 do. All right, Professor, teach me your ways. Give me my Pokedex and Pokeballs and things. I will say it's been quite a while since I've played uh, Omega Ruby or any of the Gen 3, you know, anything in Hoenn for that matter. So I'm a little rusty on some of the stuff. Like I remember, I think I remember most of it, but uh, it has been quite a while. All right, I did get Trico. Let's name him. We are going to nickname all of our Pokemon. And I've already thought of a name for this guy. We're going to call him Leaf. Because I think it's a very fitting name for a grass starter. And also, it's a little bit of a pun. He's a, it's a Viking name. He's a famous warrior explorer guy, if I remember correctly. All right, let's go find May. And the map will show us where we got to go. Kind of. Uh, you don't give me Pokeballs, do you? Nope. All right. Fair enough. Let's go this way and up. Uh, we're just going to skip encounters, I th think. I mean, I, I, I'm going to have to battle May here pretty soon. These do not count as encounters for the purpose of the challenge, though, because remember, uh, we haven't gotten Pokeballs yet. So until we get Pokeballs, um, the challenge doesn't really start. So I'll still be able to catch a Pokemon in this route. Route? Route? One of those weird words that I've heard pronounced many ways. I think it just depends on, like, where you live. Anyway, <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked. There we go. Goodbye, Wurmple. 
And that should get us up to level six. We didn't learn any moves though. That's all right. Um, do you give me anything? No. All right, we got another encounter. Zigzagoon. Probably like level two, right? Yep, level two. There's a lot of like super low level Pokemon on this route. We'll go for it. I mean, we might as well get as much experience as we can. If we could get up to level seven before I have to fight Mei, that would be great. I'm gonna try to limit the amount of grinding that I do. But usually in Nuzlocke, there's at least a bit of it that's required. So we will see. Oh, Pokemon Center guy, or uh, Pokemart guy. Yes, teach me all about the Pokemart because I have never played a Pokemon game before. I know nothing about Pokemarts and that they sell Pokeballs and potions and useful things. Don't worry, guy, I haven't been playing Pokemon games since Pokemon Blue. All right, there we go. Got through that. All right, let's pop into the Poke Center. Heal up our dudes. Or I guess it's only our dude. We've only got the one dude right now. Also, I should say the, the, the little bit in the lower screen that says who's that Pokemon right now, that is also where the graveyard will go on the overlay should uh, the should we lose anybody. Hopefully we'll never lose anybody. But I mean, it's a long game, so we will see. But let's go find May. She should be up here. And then we'll basically just tell our Pokemon to attack each other until one of us wins. Luciana. Uh, you know what? Let's go for it. If we need to run back to heal beforehand, I mean, I, I do want to go into the battle with Torchic. Eh, I mean, at 21, we'd probably be okay. I don't know. We'll see. He's going to tackle again. Let's finish off the Poochiana. There we go. 24. Did not get a level. Honestly, I don't remember if Torchic knows Ember or not, and if it does, I know that I know Absorb. So, if this Torchic knows Ember, I'm going to be in a pretty rough spot, but... But we'll see. All right, let's go fight May. I think we'll be okay. Um, do I have potions? Let's see. Oh, there we go. Um, I do have a potion. Oh, I 11 potions. Really? This game starts you with that many potions. Okay, that's fine. That's surprising. Um, anyway. I guess we'll just go and fight May. With that many potions, we should be fine. Although I am considering imp uh, using the no items in battle rule. No healing items in battle. I mean, obviously you can use Pokeballs in battle if you're trying to catch something, but I'm thinking of maybe doing that rule, maybe changing to set. I don't know. I, I don't know exactly how hard I want to go with this Nuzlocke. This is the first Nuzlocke that I have done in probably about two or three years. So... It's been a little while. I'll be fine, though. All right, Torchic, please don't know Ember. If you know Ember, it's going to be bad. All right, uh, we're just going to go for pounds. We're just going to punch the Torchic in the face repeatedly until we win. That, that's essentially my game plan. And hope that Torchic doesn't get like a critical hit. All right, Leaf, just just keep just keep punching him in the face. This is where like this is this is where there's like very little strategy <laughs> involved in Pokemon. This early bit of the game where it's like you know one move and it's tackle or pound or scratch. Just just do damage in any possible way that you can damage the opponent. There we go. We'll take the level up though. Now we get a little money for winning. And then we get healed up. And now I believe I go... 
back to Professor Birch and get the Pokedex? Back to the lab. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're good. All right, we're going to do the same because, again, the challenge doesn't really start until I get Pokeballs, so I want to get the challenge going. I want to catch some Pokemon. I want to add to the team. What, what, what do you think I'm doing, May? I'm, I'm chasing you. I'm following you back to Little Root. I'm going as quick as I can. Also, I gotta say, it's nice to be able to run without having shoes that magically teach me how to run. Wouldn't you know? That is a thing. All right, let's pop in. I see Pokédex on the desk behind him. Why, thank you, Professor Birch. Now I can be the world's greatest Pokémon master. There we go. Hey, Pokeballs. All right, the challenge has officially begun. So we will soon get our first encounter. And I think we have to, I think our mom stops us like when we're about to leave town. Yeah. Hi, mom. I'm going to be leaving now forever. I know I'm only like 11, but I'm totally an adult and I can totally make my own decisions and I'm a big boy now. Or something like that, anyway. Alright. Here we go. What do you want now? <laughs> it, it never ends. Ah, the PokéNav Plus. Okay. Is this where you teach me about sneaking? Is this is this what's about to happen? We're probably gonna get our first Pokemon here pretty soon. Oh, or maybe not. Maybe our first Pokemon will be whatever this is. It knows a rare move. Okay. Um. Does it, does it like, yeah, 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 I know, May. Can I, like, see, oh, I need to figure out, like, what all the little icons on the lower screen represent. Pokednav. There's my party. Dexnav, this is items. This is trainer card. Okay. So next one's probably save. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's save. Probably something I should be doing. And then this is like options and stuff, right? Yeah, tech speed. Actually, you know what we should do is we should change that to fast and hit confirm. Just help us get through some of this stuff a little sooner. Okay, so we have... Oh, does it, is there not one for the, the thing? Oh, I see. See, so uh, ah, I get it. I get it. Okay. All right. Anyway, let's sneak up on this dude. Just nice and slow. Surprise. Probably like a zigzagoon. Is that Pucciana? I'm actually okay with that. If it has Intimidate, I'll be really happy. It doesn't, but it is level 5, which is not terrible. We're going to go for a pound. Ooh. That, oh, that was a critical. Okay. Oh, it knows Thunderfang. Okay. Uh, let's go for another pound. I definitely want to catch this guy. If he knows Thunderfang, that's going to be really useful. Attack goes up. We go to bag, balls, Pokeball. Go for it. Do we catch the Poochiana that knows Thunderfang? Having Thunderfang on the team is, like, actually really good. I'm not sure if that's a scripted thing that he has Thunderfang, or if it's just random and we, we got lucky. Like, I know he knows that he knows some special move, 
But uh, the fact that it's Thunderfang is actually pretty solid. Gives us some nice type coverage that we wouldn't be able to have otherwise for at least a little while. So we will take him. And now we got to think of a name for the Poochiena. Uh, he is a dog. And he knows Thunderfang. I think I'm just going to call him Fang. I think it's a great name for a dog. Let, let's call him Fang. Beautiful. All right, so now we can't catch any more Pokemon in this route. Let's head to the Poke Center. We'll have to heal up. Because both of them are pretty damaged. And then we can go up north and catch another Pokemon. There we go. I can look at the map. So the map shows you like where you have been, which is awesome for the purposes of a Nuzlocke because we can just remember like if we've been to this area, we have caught a Pokemon here. So let's try and catch a second Pokemon. We'll just run around circles for a little bit. What do we got? Another Poochiena. Okay, so Species Claws means I can basically just ignore this dude and just pretend he's not here. So we're just going to run away. Because I've already got a Poochiena, so... And that's just for... That's really just for, like, the sake of variety. Because I think, like, the whole intent of the... You can only catch the first Pokemon you run into. I think the whole intent of that is essentially that you use Pokemon that you wouldn't use otherwise. You know, you use Pokemon that you might not use in a regular playthrough. And I think if you're trying to do that, but then you have like three Pokemon of the same type on your team, that kind of like defeats the purpose. So um, I think variety is better. And a Wingo, I'm actually super happy with. There we go. Lovely. We got ourselves a Wingle. And then we will name him... Was it a him or a her? It doesn't matter. Yes, give a nickname. It's a her. Hmm, what is a good name for a Wingle? Maybe. You know what? Let's let's name it mine. Cause, you know, a little little reference there. Those of you who know what I'm talking about will get it. <laughs> Alright. So his name is mine. And if I could catch like four more of them that would also go mine, that would be fantastic. But no species, no no duplicate species. That's the thing we're doing. So anyway, all right. So we have our first two Pokemon. We're going to pop into the Poke Center. We're going to heal up like a so. There we go. And I think that that is a great place to end off the first episode of this epic Pokemon adventure. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links and important information in the description below, so check that out as well. Remember, if you know who's that Pokemon, let me know. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.